22 years ago, I rode into North Carolina with a stereo and about $600 in my pocket. I was a little fearful of what the future would hold, but I knew I had a certain level of confidence because my parents had instilled in me a couple of principles. One, strong work ethic, and two, to treat people fairly. I soon met and married a Carolina girl, and after a few years of working in business management, we made quite the transition into the ministry world. For the last decade and a half, I've had the privilege of serving the community as a vocational pastor. As a father of three children, I've become troubled about their future. Over the last couple of years, I've grown increasingly concerned about the direction of our country. It seems that we continue to plow through fiscal and social roadblocks with careless abandon. Our spending is out of control and our liberties continue to be threatened. As I stand here and look around me in the middle of this battlefield, here in the heart of Greensboro, I'm reminded of those who paid an ultimate price. But they knew something that seemingly we've forgotten, and that is our rights didn't come from the federal government. They came from God Almighty. Our fathers knew this and incorporated it into our founding documents. Ronald Reagan's shining city on a hill, it isn't as bright as it used to be. But there's good news. There's still hope. But we have to act with an urgency not seen in several generations. Most importantly, this effort has to come from our heart. We can make a difference. Why not? Why can't a group of North Carolinians come together to restore this dream? I've reached a place where I can no longer sit idle. The day has arrived for me to engage with full devotion. And it's for this reason that I'm running for the United States Congress. The voices of liberty in Washington have grown faint. We need individuals who are willing to stand on the Capitol floor and protect those liberties and our Constitution with great fervor. Now, I'm not a career politician. I'm like many of you. I'm a red-blooded American who loves this country and is not ashamed of it. I thank you for your time, and I pray that you'll join me on this journey. May God bless you, and may He bless this great nation once again.